I understand better what you're talking about, that delay. Mm -hmm. It don't seem like forever. It seems like forever. Good morning. <laughs> did we send out notifications? If we was on, it did. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. God bless you for tuning in. Get your neighbors, tell your friends, your choir members, your Sunday school class, all that can get on, the co-workers. We're going to have a good time this morning. Looking at the word. Amen. God bless you. Good morning, Minister Booza. God bless you and your family, your mother, and your whole network of friends. Good morning, Miss Jackie Bridges. God bless you. Amen. Come on in, in my room. And we're going to study together this morning, looking at the word of God. Good morning, Bernard Brown. He is in town. God bless you, my friend, my cuz. God bless you. Good morning, Miss Crosby. God bless you and your family. Thank you for tuning in. Y'all get your Bibles ready. Get your Bibles ready. We are ready. To take a stroll through God's word and let our fingers do the walking. We're going to let God do the talking. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I see you coming on. Amen. Send me some messages. I can see your name. Thank you. I don't mind you doing that. But we just thank you so much. We're going to wait just a couple more minutes and then we're going to get this Bible study on the way. And again, we thank you so much for being a part of this historic moment as we are uh, reaching out in a new way to uh, share God's word with you. The Bible says that the word of God is a lamp unto our feet. And a light unto our pathway. And truly we thank you for tuning in. Amen. Oh, good morning. Good morning. I see you there. Good morning, Sheila McGill. God bless you. Good morning, Miss Wonder Camp. Good morning, my friend, all the way from Maryland, Brother George Dickens. Amen. God bless you. Good morning, Miss Janet. Brother Eddie. Brother Eddie Epps, the singing brother. Minister Giss, God bless you. Miss Mary Home, Thomas, bless you. Miss Risa, amen. Nice to meet you. Amen. Y'all log on in. We're going to get ready to have a good time, Miss Ernestine. Amen. Classmate, amen. Miss uh, Angela Andrews, amen. Miss uh, Dorothy Petty, Christina Cromwell, amen. God bless you. Hey, Deacon Norris, good morning, good morning, good morning. Amen. Amen. May we bow our heads in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you so very much for all your many blessings. We thank you, God, for allowing us, oh God, to get together in this time of quarantine, in this time of social distances. Father, we long in the spirit. There's no distance too far for you. We pray, oh God, as we study this morning, that you will, God, tune up our ears to hear, that you will touch our eyes to see. God, that you would touch our minds to understand, and God, that we can grow down in our soul. We pray, O oh God, that we not only be hearers today, 
But God, somehow in some way, your word, oh God, will enable us to become doers. God bless those who are logging on. Bless those who are already logged on. God, we need your anointing to work in this place. In Jesus' name, can everybody say amen? Oh, I can't hear you, but God can hear you. Give God a big amen. Good morning, Reverend JJ. Amen. God bless you, Miss Cheryl Wilkins. Amen. Miss Ashley Thomas, good morning. Reverend Ron Williams, good morning. The first thing we want to share to you today about uh, it's important, amen, to study. The Bible tells us to study to show ourselves approved unto God. Not studying, trying to know more than your fellow a man, not trying to study to know more than your, the current um, uh, choir members, not studying, trying to impress anyone, but study in a way, amen, that you can grow, that you can blossom, amen, and, and sometimes all buds don't blossom, it's springtime, but, but in order to blossom in the spirit, you have to stay in the word, you have to grow thereby, if you will, if you have your Bibles, I want you to turn to Matthew chapter 7 and verse 7. Amen. God bless you, Brother Kendrick Kirby. Amen. Miss Lucretia. Miss Lisa Glenn. God bless you. Amen. Miss Sharon Baker. Amen. Rebecca Armstrong. Hey, Miss Maquita Hunter. God bless you. Amen. Matthew 7. Amen. And verse 7. Amen. Read it, read it out loud where you are. Amen. I'm going to read it, but read it with me. Ask, and it shall be given. You seek. And ye shall find, knock, and it shall be open unto you. Amen. That's what the word of God is. Amen. We're seeking this morning. We're seeking. Amen. If God said it, it can happen. If you believe it, it can happen. Sometime in the Bible, things only happen because they believe. Jesus talked to one person. He said, your faith had made ye whole. Not grandmother's faith, not grandfather's faith, but your faith. Amen. Has to kick in. And when it kicks in, you'll never be the same. Amen. Is there anybody out there that has been changed? Good morning, Pastor Lil John. God bless you. Miss Veronica Adams. Amen. The next scripture we want to go to, amen, amen, is uh, uh, John chapter 5. If you return to John chapter 5, amen, and go down to verse 39. And as you turn there, I want to put a little bit more emphasis on Matthew 7 and 7. It says, ask. You got to ask God. And I pray, and that's why we prayed before we started the scriptures. Amen. You got to ask him, God, help me understand. God, help me grow. Help me help my fellow man. God, uh, show me what to do. Show me what to say. Tell me. I'll go. Send me. I'll go. But in order to do that, you have to ask. Ask Ask him. And then it says, seek. Amen. It may not just be on the top. Sometimes you got to look at the bottom of what's going on. Sometimes you got to get down on the flow. Sometimes you got to go beyond the flow and go sub zero. Amen. Down. You sometimes the blessing is underneath things. It's underneath our heartaches. It's underneath our burdens. Somebody said, well, I got all these burdens to bear. Maybe that it takes that to get you to where God wants you to be. Amen. Sometimes you got to go down to get up. Amen. God bless you. That's one thing I learned about a basketball. Amen. The, 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 the harder you bounce it, the higher to go. God bless you. Amen. John chapter 5. Amen. Uh, verse 39. Amen. John chapter 5, verse 39. Amen. Thank you so very much for turning there. Amen. And if you found it, amen, just say amen. 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 I know you can hear me, but I can't hear you. Amen. But this is what it says there. John 5 and 39. Amen. Read it with me. It says, search the scriptures. And that's what we're doing today. It says, for in them ye think ye have eternal life. Yes, we do. And then it says, and they are they which testify of me. Amen. You got to testify of him. A lot of people talk about going to heaven, but they never talk about Jesus. A lot of people want to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. A lot of people talk about going to heaven, but their lifestyle does not reflect it. Amen. We talk about everybody, all the movie stars, superstars, musicians, R&B singers, amen, athletes, scientists, doctors, performers, all of those things are good. But if you go to heaven, Jesus has to be a part of your conversation. He said, you got to testify of me. Amen. Not about what you saw in the news, not about what our president said, not about 
what his favorite doctor said, amen, not about what your neighbor said, but, but when we get to the point when we can tell others about what Jesus said, and that's what I'm thinking about now, about Miss Janet singing that song, I just come to tell you what Jesus said, amen, people are leaving every day, corona, amen, and other things are taking them away, and one day we too, amen, people will grieve over us, amen, but until then, we got to study it. Amen. We got to show ourselves approved. Amen. It says search the scriptures. You got to flip it front and back. Some people just love to stay in one book. Some people just love to study one part of the Bible. Amen. Some just love Psalms. Amen. Some just love Proverbs. Some, amen, just love the King session of the Bible. But you got to read the whole Bible. Amen. From the front to the back. Amen. From Genesis to Revelation. Amen. You must be familiar with it. Amen. And I always found out in life, amen, that if you're familiar with your tool, the Bible is a tool, amen, to help us. The Bible is life. The Bible is God. Amen. And when that becomes important to you, when you study it and it becomes a part of your life, amen, the Bible said, your word have I hid in my heart. And once that word become a part of your heart, amen, amen, it, 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 it's easy for the word to bring back to remembrance. The spirit will bring it back to remembrance. But if you don't have anything in there, amen, there's nothing to bring to remembrance. So it's important that we meditate day and night. Yes, day and night. Look, amen, you can see me, I can see you. Look right at me, look right at me. Say meditate day and night. God bless you, my friend. Amen. The next thing we want to look at about the scripture before we get into our lesson today, if you would turn to 2 Timothy. Amen. Second Timothy chapter three and verse 16. Hey, I see your bone neck, bone neck in the house. Minister Tate, God bless you. Miss Lynn Flack, God bless you. Miss Stephanie Michael Michaels, God bless you. Cheryl Wilkins, God bless you. Amen. Robert Petty, Uncle Petty in the house. Amen. Miss Tate, God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. At this time, amen, we just want to talk with you. Amen. Uh, uh, Second Timothy, Second Timothy chapter three. Amen. And bear with me. I'm getting there. Amen. As we look at this scripture and I pray that you're writing these down. Amen. That you have you a little notebook when you study God's word, because it will help you in time to come. Amen. It will help you to help others in time to come. God bless you. Amen. Second Timothy. Amen. Chapter three and verse 16. Amen. I want to share with you just a little nugget of biblical information. Good morning, Miss Nina. Amen. It's, and, and John 3.16 is very important. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And then the second 3.16, amen, that should also be very important to you, amen, is 2 Timothy 3 and 16. Can you say that with me? 2 Timothy 3 and 16. Amen. This is what it says in this uh, scripture. It says for all scripture. Amen. All of it. Amen. The whole entire Bible is given by inspiration of God. Yes, God inspired over 40 men. Amen. And and, and the, the name after uh, two women in the Bible, Ruth and Esther. Amen. The two uh, women that it's named after. It says the inspired uh, uh, inspiration of God and it is profitable. The word is profitable. Amen. It'll help you. It'll help you. Amen. For reproof. Amen. Sometimes you need to, to verify. And then it says for correction. Yes, the word corrects us when we're wrong. Amen. And also it says uh, for instruction in righteousness. Yes, righteousness. You got to be right with God. We used to hear that song, get right with God and do it now. Get right with God and he will show you how. Down at the cross where he shed his blood. Amen. Get right. Get right with God. Amen. We got to get right with him. And, and again, we never know when we're going to leave. Amen. But we have to be ready. God bless you. Good morning, uh, Brother Eddie. Good morning, uh, Trusty Leonard Huey. God bless you. Amen. Uh, 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 again, Brother Eddie Palmer. Amen. John Light's in the house. God bless you. Also at this time, today. Amen. We're, we're, we're beginning. We just talked about the importance of study. But today, if you would turn to Genesis chapter one and verse one, we're going to look a little bit about God. Ology on the end of the word in the scientific world means the study thereof or the study of something. Amen. For criminology is the study of criminals of their mind. 
Amen. Amen. And also, amen, as we look at the life with biology, it's the study of life. Amen. Uh, plant animals and, and, and just life in general. Amen. Even small microscopic things, biology, the study of, 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 of life. But also, I want you to know that theology, if you can't say that with me, theology. Theology is the study of God. Amen. Amen. It's the study of God. And I pray that as we study today, amen, that we will Amen. Have a good time. Genesis 1 and 1. Amen. If you can, let's read that together. Amen. Genesis 1 and 1. Amen. Amen. If you found it, say glory. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Let's read it together. Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Amen. It said in the beginning, not at the beginning. Some people are at the beginning, amen. They, they, they're, 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 they're there, they're at, they're, they're, they're at the beginning, but they're not in the beginning, amen. There are, uh, if you have, have you ever went to a track meet? Have you ever went to a NASCAR race? Have you ever went to Cherokee Speedway and seen the cars? At the beginning, at the, at the line, at the beginning, at the starting line, at the beginning, that you... Some photographers are at the beginning, but they're not in the beginning. Some spectators are at the beginning, but not in the beginning. But the Bible said that God was in the beginning. He was all in the midst of it. And that's why everything that he made, amen, was made by God. Good morning, uh, Miss Lula Watts, Gregory. Good morning, Miss Deborah. Good morning, Miss Deborah Hempria, all the way in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Give God some glory. Amen. And it says in the beginning, God. And when we look at the word God, amen, it comes from a Hebrew word that means Elohim. Amen. Which means God himself. That means he's a self-sustaining God. That means he's an all-powerful God. He's El. In, in the Bible, the Hebrew El means God. Amen. It means God. Amen. Uh, uh, Bethel means house of God. Amen. El means God. So we pray that as we, we look unto God, amen, the author and finisher of our faith, amen, that we will understand that the Bible is more than just a book, amen, the Bible is life, these words of life, and, and, and God's word, amen, can, that's why it excites us, amen, it, it, sometimes, amen, it excites you, and, 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 and have you ever been excited by the word? Has the word ever caused you, amen, to, to pull over in your car and, and just do your holy dance in your seat? Has the word of God ever caused tears to roll down your face just because you were happy? Knowing that even though some have isolated themselves, I'm talking about before Corona, that you have already been isolated. They've already pushed you back. They already ignore you. But you understand that I'm not alone. God told me he would never leave me for forsake me. That has to become a part of your fiber. It has to be become a part of your mind. It has to become a part of your soul that God is with you in everything you go through. It says God in the beginning, God, and, and, and God is invisible. Amen. God is invisible. You can't see God. Amen. He, you can't see him, but every once in a while you can feel him. Amen. You can't see him, but, but every once in a while you can see him in somebody. Amen. You cannot see him, but every once in a while you'll see him working in your life. Have you ever seen him working in your life? I see you. I see your bone neck. I see you. Bone neck. I see you, Joni Allen. I see you. Amen. Have you ever had him working in your life? I see you, Miss Bonita. Amen. I, I, and when God works, amen, he, he does it in a way to increase our faith. Amen. I want you to do me a favor. Sometimes you got to touch yourself on the shoulder and say, maybe he's taking me through this to increase my faith. He's taking you through that so you can help your neighbor. He's helping you through that so you can help your friend. He's helping you do that so you can even show your enemy. Greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. Oh, I see you. I see you, Yolanda Edwards. I see you. I see you, Captain Little John. I see you, Edgar Heron. Yes, Lord. If it had not been for you, I wouldn't be here today. Do me a favor and turn with me to John chapter 4. We want to look at another scripture there about John. 
about Jesus. And again, thank you so much. Amen. And and this will also be uploaded. Amen. It's going to be uploaded to the website. Amen. That Bible study is going to be there for the seven o'clock crew. Amen. If you get off work at two o'clock, tell your neighbors that they want to see this. Amen. Because it's life changing information. Once we understand that God's power is, is, is what's going to cause us to climb. God's power is what's going to move you from the back row, amen, to put you on the stage. God's word is what's going to take you, amen, out of the darkness and move you to the marvelous light. Oh, somebody already over there, John chapter 4, amen. If you're there, amen, uh, say John chapter 4, amen. And we want to get you used to flipping your Bible, amen. We want to get you used to opening it, flipping it, flipping it, opening it. Knowing what's in the front, knowing what's in the back. I see you, Minister May Francis Arat. Amen. God bless you. I see you, Kimberly Curtis, all the way. Amen. From High Point, North Carolina. God bless you, my sister. Amen. God bless you. Also, amen, at this time, amen, we're going to ask you to read that with me. Amen. John chapter 4, amen, verse 24. I did say a few minutes ago that God is invisible. Amen. He is invisible. But read with me verse 24, loud as you can. Read. Read. Now, if you're at work or you're on your break, I don't understand you can't read. You read it loud as you can. Amen. Without getting in trouble. I love you. You know that. All right. John chapter 24. Amen. Uh, John chapter 4, excuse me, verse 24. Ready? Let's read. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Highlight that if, if you got a Bible. You highlight that thing because it's so important. I see you, Mr. Lawrence Jameson Shipper. All right, then. All right, all right. God bless you. All right. Amen. Reverend Timothy Mills, God bless you, my brother. Amen. Pastor there of uh, 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 Montgomery Chapel there. Amen. God bless you, my friend. It says here, amen, that God is a spirit. And when you look at that, I want you to look in your Bible. You will see that spirit is capitalized. That signifies that he's the king. Amen. He is the Lord of hosts. He is Lord God of mighty of this world and in the world to come. I see you, uh, uh, Denise Bridges, made man. My wife. I see you now. God bless you. Amen. Love you. Amen. It says here, amen, that God is a spirit, a spirit. He's God is one. But God is able to do all things. One spirit accomplish all things. And that's why, amen, when you become saved, amen, a, a part of God uh, begins to live in you. Amen. And that's why you need to study. That's why you need to grow. Amen. The spirit bears witness with your spirit. Amen. 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 Now hear me now. Hear me good. A lot of people misquote this. And a lot of people misquote this. The, the spirit of God bears witness with your spirit. Amen. And that's how change takes place. That's why you're not the same. That's why if any man be in Christ in the beginning, if any man be in Christ, uh, 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 you ought to have been there when it fell on me. When If you in Christ, amen, you will begin to change. You will begin to change. And you got to make sure that you feed your spirit. Not only your body, man cannot live by bread alone. That's the, that's the body. That's the body, the flesh. But by every word of God, that's the spirit. You feed your spirit by engaging in godliness, gospel songs, gospel music, amen, gospel information, godly information. All of that feeds your soul. And that's why it's important for us, amen, to do that. God is a spirit. And they, amen, I'm going to talk about they, amen, I'm a part of they. Are you a part of the they crowd? They, they that worship him. See, a lot of people come to church, but they don't worship. They come to look and see uh, uh, the fashion show, amen, they come to see what you're driving. They come to see the car show, amen, they, uh, they come to hear the, 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 the choirs. And as soon as the choir sang, before the preacher take his text, they're already gone, amen. But when you come to worship, that there's various ways to worship him. when all of those ways can happen. Not only at church, but it can happen in your home. It can happen on your job. Take the Lord with you everywhere you go. It said here that they that worship him, to worship him is, is counting and letting God know he's worthy. 
He's worthy. He's worthy of your study. He's worthy of, of your praise. He's worthy of your service. Not only to your family. Amen. Serve your family. Serve your friends. Serve your country. But don't forget to serve God. Amen. In the midst of all of those things. Serving God. Amen. It said here. Amen. That they that worship him must worship him in spirit. In other words, amen, you you got to find a way to 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 focus. You got to find a way to push back distractions. You got to find a way, amen, to, to get with the right crew. Amen. And, and, and don't you know, amen, just like a school or a group, amen, that everybody cannot be cheerleaders. Amen. Everybody cannot be cheerleaders. And, and in the spirit, you need to find you a few cheerleaders. Find people that's not jealous of you. Find people that don't mind growing. You learn from one another. Find somebody who's going to help you better. Iron sharp as iron. Amen. And when you do that, amen, it helps us to grow. It helps us, amen, to, to, to be blessed. It helps us. I see you, Maggie Smith. I see you, Teresa Tate. Amen. God bless you. It helps us to be enhanced. Miss Francis Drain, all the way from Connecticut. God bless you. Amen. And when these things happen, amen, it enables us, amen, to, to grow in the spirit. I see you, Miss Sharon Jeffries. God bless you, Leach. May God bless you. And when this happens, amen, they cannot stop you. Your worship, amen, sometimes is private. Your worship sometimes is in a group. Sometimes your private, your worship, amen, it might be a new thing. It might be in a new place. Amen. Because when Moses was on the backside of Herod, which is the uh, Mount Sinai, he said, take off your shoes. You're on holy ground. In other words, worship me right now. Respecting God is worshiping and giving God some praise. Amen. So uh, and you, you got to be truthful. You got to mean what you say and, and say what you mean when it comes to worship. Amen. A lot of people say, send me, I go. A lot of people sing that song, send me, I go. When then uh, you, you talk with the group, the missionary circle, uh, we're going to the hospital Monday and I won't be able to go. I got a doctor's appointment. Everybody got something to do and you're the only one that don't have anything to do. And you said, Lord, send me, I'll go. And maybe this is your test to see if you're going to go. Well, ain't nobody else going. I'm not going either. No, 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 no. Sometimes your, your most effective work is when it's just you and God. I'm going to repeat that. Amen. Sometimes you, I said sometime now, because God works in two or three. God works in five or six. God works in 10. You know God works in 12. He had 12 disciples. God works, amen, in, in, in numbers of 50. Don't you remember they sat down in groups of 50? And the miracle took place with feeding them, amen. God works in groups of 100. God works in groups of thousands. God works in groups of millions and billions. But, but however it is, you got to make sure your worship is for real. Amen. You got to mean your worship. Amen. I, I know I know they're talking about your past, but mean your worship. I know you're not 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 perfect, but you mean your worship. And that's why a lot of people look at people and say, well, he, he smell just like uh, 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 that bottle in that brown bag. But that's all right. Sometimes they worship is for real. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sometimes the person in the suit and in the dress are, 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 are not put uh, They're not meaning it at the moment. They're just going through the motion. But but when God is in you, you got to give him your best. Amen. Do me a favor. Touch yourself on the shoulder. I got to give God my best. Amen. God bless you. We want to look at this thing called God is a spirit. Amen. And I want to talk about that. Not flesh, not blood and not material. Amen. We want to talk about this today because it's so important that 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 people understand uh, uh, that God is concerned about us. See, a lot of people fall into idolatry. Can you say that with me? Idolatry. Idolatry is easy to fall in. It's easy to fall into when you fall into materialism, when you fall into uh, 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 just doing what other people do. When you fall into not praying, when you fall into not going to church, when you fall into not remember what mom and daddy taught you, you can fall into idolatry. And if you will, I want to talk about this briefly. If you would turn with me, amen, to the book of Exodus, amen, chapter 20. I want to look at a few verses there. Exodus chapter 20. Amen. Amen. And as you turn there, I want you to know that Exodus chapter 20 uh, uh, lists the Ten Commandments. I see you, Miss Drayton, all the way in Columbia, South Carolina. God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Andrea Banks. Amen. God bless you. Michelle Byers. God bless you. Amen. As you turn to Exodus chapter 20, we want you to understand, amen, that there's something about God. Faye McGill. God bless you. Charlotte Holloway. Amen. God bless you. 
Amen. May God strengthen you. Amen. And be your everything. Miss Bobby Price, God bless you. Amen. It says here, amen, in, in Exodus 20, amen, it begins, the first few command, uh, commandments deal with God. Amen. If you can, repeat that after me, because when you repeat it, it helps you remember. Amen. That's why a, a two-year-old that just learned how to talk, amen, within a few weeks can learn their whole ABCs. Because they hear it. They hear that repetition. They hear the song. They, they can't write it yet. They can't write it yet. They can't write a little A or a capital A. But mom and daddy and, and, and caring loved ones sing that alphabet song. And they, they, and they know that song. That, that song becomes a part of them. And that's how it is when you read God's word. You, you speak it out loud. And, and it helps us to remember. Faith comes by hearing. Amen. Faith comes by hearing. If you can, repeat after me. Say, faith comes by Hearing. Amen. Hearing, it makes something happen. That's why the devil wants you to be scared and don't say nothing. But when you when you begin to speak God's word, when you begin to, to seek God's word, when you know what God said about a, a particular thing, when you know God said love your enemy and your flesh is telling you to, to push them or to cuss them out. Amen. You understand that God's word said love your enemy. Amen. And that's how, amen, God works in our life. That's the study of God. The study of God is doing it God's way. Amen. The study of God is doing what God said do. Amen. Exodus 20. Amen. Amen. I want you to look down with me at Exodus 20. And again, this is the Ten Commandments at your own leisure. Amen. You can read all of these. And, and I always say, amen, this is the self-test. Amen. Right now, the children are doing a lot of things in school and everything and jobs working from home. But, but Exodus 20 is the self-test. Amen. Read that and see how you're living. See how you're measuring up to God's commandments. Amen. Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you following them pretty good? Or, oh, Lord, I need to start all over again. Starting all over again. It's going to be rough. But you can make it. Amen. Just say, acknowledge your problem. Acknowledge your sin. And God is faithful and just to forgive you. He'll forgive you. Amen. Exodus 20. I want you to look down. Amen. Or we're going to look down at, at, at verse. Uh, uh, let's look at verse 1. We're going to read this pretty quickly, amen, because uh, time is moving. Amen. Verse 1, read and read. And God spake all these words, amen, these words. He spake these words, but men, as we stated earlier, wrote these words down for us that passed it down. Verse 2 said, I am the Lord thy God, amen. God always wants us to know who he is, that have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Amen. Had God brought you out of something? Amen. Yes, he has. He brought me out a whole bunch of stuff. Amen. God bless you. And don't be ashamed. Now, you can't tell everybody everything he brought you out of, but just let him know. Amen. Amen. I hadn't always been on the Lord's side. Amen. I see you, Ann Holmes. God bless you. Amen. Minister Holmes. God bless you. Amen. I see you, Leslie Dotto. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. And it says here, amen, Regina Logan, God bless you, and James Watkins, amen. It says here, amen, and, and verse 3, that's what we're trying to get to, amen. Read that with me loud as you can. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Hmm. Yeah. God is jealous. God want to be first in your life. That is the study of theology. God wants to be first. God wants to be your number one. Amen. God wants to be your uno. Amen. God wants to be your solo. Amen. God wants to be, amen, number one. Amen. Before mom and daddy, God has to be number one. Before husband and wife, God has to be number one. Before your children, God has to be first. Amen. God has to be first. He wants to be first. Amen. Now, I want you to share something, two things I want to share with you. In verse 1, you will see the second word in, in, in chapter 20, Exodus 20 and verse 1. The second word is God. And there you have a capital G. Amen. That means our God. Remember a while ago, it was a capital S. That means God. Amen. But now if you look down in verse 3, it says, Thou shalt have no other gods, little g, before me. Amen. That's very important. Amen. Because, again, idolatry can happen so quickly. Your hobby can come your idol. Amen. Your habit, your man, the things you like to do other than church and worshiping God, it can, it can become your idol. Anything that's more important to God in your life, amen, is your idol. 
Amen. That's why it bothers me. It bothers me, Miss Christy Wood Fowler. It bothers me. Amen. When some people, amen, uh, uh, well, even the show American Idol, that name, oh, Lord, they looking at these other people to try to get famous. They trying to out sing somebody out singing somebody. Amen. Might sell you more records, but will it help save more souls? Amen. Will, will it really help make life better? Amen. Competition. Serving God is not about competition. Amen. Serving God is not about competition. Serving God is about giving your best. Amen. It's about giving your best. And that's what I love about the little boy. He gave his best. Two fish, five loaves of bread. Somebody tried to make him leave. That's not enough. But God will take out a little bit and make a lot happen. Amen. I see you. I see you out there. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Uh, may God bless you in a mighty way. Amen. Amen. It says here, I see you, uh, Miss Sam Washington. God bless you. Amen. All the way from Greenville, South Carolina. Amen. God bless you. It says here, Amen. That thou shalt have no other gods before me. God wants to be number one. The second thing, amen. Well, the next thing I want to look at is verse four. Amen. Down in verse four. Exodus 20 and verse four. Amen. Man, time flying when you're having fun, don't it? Amen. I know it does. Will you read verse four out loud with me when you can? Amen. Need a pee long. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Uh, Miss Leslie Dollar wants you to join her. Huh? Amen. It says, thou shalt not make Amen. Unto thee any graven image. Amen. Now notice what it says. Don't make anything, a graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Amen. That's what happened with, 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 with mythology and all of these creatures that are in people's mind. Amen. It's an ology. I mean, you say a while ago, ology is the study of. It's a study of a myth. A myth is just something that's been passed along. It's not true. But God is the study of the truth. Mythology is a study of a myth. Some people chase their whole life, amen, following mythology, amen, following, amen, looking for a Sasquatch, amen, looking for the Loch Ness Monster. That's in the water beneath. They spend time in the mountains looking for something. But don't you know that God is a God of the mountain? Some of his great work he did on the mountain. Amen. But thou shalt not make any graven images. Amen. Re repeat after me. Shall engrave. Amen. Say engraved. Yeah. That's what it means. The, uh, 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 it means engraved. When you go to a jeweler, he engraves your jewelry with your name or initial. He engraves it. He got an instrument. He had to get it hot. And, 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 and mold it or, or shape it or, or do something to change it, to make it work. I see you there, Brother Sean Ellis, cuz. God bless you. See you, Miss Sherry Ellis Camp. God bless you. It engraves. So, so in other words, God said, don't go out there and make something and set it up and call it a God. That's material. Amen. God is spirit. Trophies, amen, and statues. People make those things, and, and that's what happened to a person who is high minded, amen. They they want images of themselves everywhere, amen. And, and they're, they're more important about them instead of God. They said, Don't make any grave, don't, don't go engraved and make something because it's not live. If man made it, how can it be your God? If God made the tree and you carved it out of a tree, how can it be God? The Bible said when they were in Egypt, amen, that they got the earrings out of their ear. Amen. Amen. And we're going to look at a few stories. Amen. They got it out of their ear. If you will, turn with me to Psalms 115. We're looking at the study of God. Amen. Time is moving. Good Lord of money. Amen. I thank him for you. I thank him for you this morning. Shauna Henderson, God bless you this morning. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Regina Logan, God bless you. Mary Huey, God bless you. Pastor Woods, my friend, got all the way, amen, in Clinton, amen, AME Zion, amen, down, amen, there in York, South Carolina, my friend and buddy, amen, God bless you. It says here, amen, that uh, uh, there in um, Psalm 115, amen, Psalms 115, amen, if you found it, say 115, amen, God bless you. I want to share with you this, I, notice I said, don't make any graven images. So even in church, we do have church furniture. 
amen, that's made of, of, of fine material. Amen. Even in the Old Testament, they had fine material made out of silver and gold, made fine church furniture. They had fine materials and God wants your best. Amen. And then we must be careful, amen, uh, uh, to know that the pulpit furniture is not God. It's not God. Amen. But it is used in God's work. But that's not God. Amen. So so it's very important, amen, that we focus here on, on, on Psalm 115. And we're going to start with verse 4. Psalm verse 10, 115 and verse 4. Amen. If you found this, say verse 4. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Let's read verse 4 together. Amen. Read and read. Their idols are silver and gold. Amen. And then it says the work of men's hands. Yeah. So if you're going to make something out of something God made, how can you call that God? We must be careful, amen, our brothers and sisters, even with your, your gospel jewelry, your necklace, and all of that stuff. Yeah, it might be your favorite necklace, but that necklace not God. You might have a ring with a cross on it, amen, but, but, but that ring is not God. I see you, Brother Earl Vernon, God bless you, Minister Music, amen, God bless you, amen, who studies, and not only just a musician, but he studied God's word to be even more effective. Amen. And that's what it's all about. Amen. And then it says that it's the work of men's hand. Amen. God, don't let any material, don't let your car. Amen. Don't let your 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 your, your uh, a safe deposit box at the bank. Amen. That's not your God. It might have some important stuff in it. But it's not more important than God. I see you, Miss Minnie Henderson, all the way down in Florida. God bless you. Amen. And then it says in verse 5, if you read verse 5 with me, amen, Psalm 115, verse 5, it says, They have mouths, but they speak not. Lord have mercy. They have mouths, but they speak not. Amen. Uh, 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 different statues, they, they don't talk, they just, they just stand there. Amen. Um, uh, uh, a dressed up mannequin at your favorite store look good sitting there, but it won't say a thing. Amen. And then it says, Amen. Eyes have they, but they see not. Amen. The statue can't see. God sees everything at the same time. I see you, Brandy Drain. God bless you. God bless you, Brandy. Amen. Just like Brandy. And then it says here, Amen. And, 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 and verse 6, it said they have ears. Read verse 6 with me loud as you can. It said they have ears. Amen. But they hear not. Amen. Noses have they. They even have noses. They, they have a, a form of a human, but it's not human. It says, but they smell not. Isn't that amazing? Amen. And so we cannot let idols sneak into our life. Amen. And then it says there in verse 8, if we will, this is our last little verse in this section. It says, they, they that make them are like unto them. In other words, they far from God. Amen. So is everyone that trusted in them. Yeah, if you trust in your material thing, if you trust in that rabbit foot, that's idolatry. Amen. If you touch in your four-leaf clover. Amen. Amen. Uh, some of you may uh, 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 flip through your Bible now and find one. Amen. Or uh, 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 grandma's Bible. You know how they used to have them on the table back in the day. Amen. But but don't you understand, amen, that if you trust them things, amen, uh, that's what you trust. That's why I put my trust in God. Amen. That's why I put my trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust. We don't hear songs like that no more. In the long. Will you trust in him? If you say you're gonna trust in him, amen. We got to we got to show him we're gonna trust in him. We got to we got to live so people will know we trust in him. We got to pay our tithes so that we know that we trust in him. We got to do all we can to help our church family and thank God we're good church members. Amen. Amen. That's what makes the, the, the gospel a reality in 2020. People living the word. I see your classmate. Amen. Minister Allen. God bless you. Love you. Amen. And that's what makes 
That's what makes it work. Amen. So it said they make these things, but they talk not. And let me tell you something, another thing that the devil does to help set up the idolatry in our life. Amen. I'm, I'm getting ready to, uh, uh, to break it down. We're going to try to end up here pretty soon. But one of the great things, amen, that, uh, uh, that you have to be aware of. Repeat after me. So you got to be aware of this. Amen. If you're talking to yourself, uh, go ahead. Pat yourself on the shoulder. Amen. We've been doing it. So you have to be aware of this. God will try to use flashy things. I see you, uh, brother, uh, uh, Miss Crate. I see you, Miss Aurilla Holmes. Amen. God will try to use flashy things to try to attract you and pull you away from God. He used flashy lights. He used glitter. He used a lot of fast talking. He'll try to overpower you. That's why the telemarketer call you and, and don't even give you a chance to say anything. And you'll say no and they'll still keep talking because that's the devil way of trying to pull you out of God's will. Amen. But you must know that, that if God be for you, who can be against you? Amen. So again, God is a spirit. He's not a material man. And I pray that as you go through life, I pray, amen, as you trust God, I pray as you continue to search the scriptures, I pray that God's word will be a lamp unto uh, your feet and a light unto your path. Amen. I pray, amen, that you will continue to know, oh man, that, that no good thing will he withhold from you. When you walk up rightly. God bless you. I have enjoyed this time with you. I pray, amen, that as we meet again, hopefully on next Wednesday, amen, at 1130 a.m. Tell your neighbors, your friends, tell them to go to the website. Amen. This Bible study will be uploaded so you can hear it again and again. So you can study it. So you can help someone else along the way. Amen. Because God wants us to help our neighbor. He to help our friends. May God bless you. I do ask your prayers at this time for a few uh, people in Gaffney, a few people in the surrounding areas that are important to, to, to God that are important to me. We ask your prayers for the Gregory family. Amen, Brother um, Andre Gregory. Amen. Was, uh, um, um, he was uh, uh, fatally wounded. Amen. A few nights ago on the streets of Gaffney, South Carolina. Amen. Please pray also for the young man, amen, that w was on the other side of this incident. Amen. It, it just might change his life. Amen. It just might help him get saved. Amen. I see you. Amen. Uh, Miss Lillian Martin. God bless you. Amen. We ask, amen, that you will also remember, amen, uh, uh, Brother T.C. Norris. Brother T.C. Norris got out of the hospital a few days ago after surgery on his back. Uh, we thank you for him. Amen. And pray for him. We thank you for Bernard Brown, who returned home on yesterday from rehab. Keep him in your prayers. We also ask your prayers for the Watts family on yesterday. Amen. A legend of the Concord Baptist Church, a legend of the Concord community. Amen. A, 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 a veteran. Amen. Of the Korean War. Amen. My friend and brother, uh, a, a former a Sunday school teacher. Amen. Brother Wilbert Watts went home to be with the Lord. Please pray for Miss Decora Watts and her wonderful family, all of their wonderful children and grandchildren. Uh, uh, and truly, we're going to miss him. We're definitely going to miss him. Please pray for the Brown family. Uh, we received information that Miss Brenda Brown went home to be with the Lord. And again, we love you. Amen. And if there are others, amen, I may not be able to recall all the prayer requests at this time, but we're going to ask God to just pray. And again, uh, don't, 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 don't hold that against me, but there's so much running through my mind right now. Amen. God bless you. Bow your head in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you uh, for allowing us to share this time together. We thank you for Bible study. We thank you for your holy anointing. We thank you, God, for your people. God, have tuned in all over uh, 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 this land and country. We pray, oh God, that you will uh, bless them and allow them to know, oh God, that we must run this race. Uh, uh, God, we must study. Oh God, that we must uh, meditate day and night. Oh God, we must uh, have good teachers around us. We must have good members around. We must have good people. We must uh, uh, be aware of our environment. Because air, the whole world is, is a classroom. God, we thank you. We pray right now for workers. God, for those workers who are, are helping, uh, those doctors, those nurses. Thank you for those in the hospital, of Prisma Health. God, Spartanburg, Reed, wherever they are, God, in, in New York, in, 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 in Louisiana, oh, God, everywhere, all over the world. God, thank you for, for, for workers, God, for, for policemen, for firefighters, God, for all of those service members. Thank you for policemen and sheriff and, and deputies. God, they all help this world be a better place. 
And I pray, oh God, that you will keep them safe and, and keep members. Like, God, we pray for children. School is out, but, but learning is never done. We pray for teachers. School is out, but, but learning is never done. God, I pray that even uh, now that will even impact more. Uh, God, you uh, uh, what the devil meant for bad, you can mean it for good. And God, we thank you right now, oh God, for the Concord Baptist Church family. God, we're, we're not able to hug on each other. We're not able to see each other like we used to. But God, one day, real soon. God, we'll be back at, at 915 Concord Road praising you. God, thank you for all the preachers, God, who have logged on today. Bless their ministries. God, we pray for all the ministers of Thinking and Mountain Baptist Association, for members of the Gaffney uh, uh, Broad River Association, associations everywhere of your people, uh, AME, CME, United Methodist, Church of God, Five Baptized Holiness. God, they all believe in Jesus. They all are brothers and sisters. Thank you. Thank you for this Bible study. God, I pray that you equip us so we can continue to serve you. Thank you, God. We ask this prayer many, many more. God, all our steps in your word that you might be pleased with our service. In Jesus' name, all the people said amen. Oh, can you say amen? Good morning, Greg Murray, my friend up in Baltimore. God bless you, man. I love you. Amen. I love all of you. May God bless you. Tell your neighbors, tell your friends, amen, to log on to check out Concord Baptist Church, Gaffney, South Carolina, amen.org. Go to our website. I want to thank our website developer, amen, Miss Jackie Bridges, amen, and all the work she does. Amen. I want to thank our entire sound team staff for all you do. Amen. And we are going to let our light so shine so that God can get the glory. God bless you. See you the next time, my friend. Amen. Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful week.